Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a um, quadcopter I built and I destroyed. I killed the King Kong um, 130 uh, frame. I hit a tree going full out, probably close to 40 miles an hour. Um, the, um, it broke right where the motor screws are. And um, but it was a fun quad. Um, the actual quad itself is, like I said, the King Kong 130 frame. Uh, it's a little bit heavy of a frame um, because of the aluminum uh, top there. Uh, the arms are eight millimeters wide and they're only two millimeters thick. I think that's one of the reasons why it broke. It's only two meters, two millimeters. A lot of the new frames are either uh, two and a half or three millimeters thick. Um, so, um, hitting a tree probably close to 40 miles an hour, it stopped it dead and it bent it up and after another two flights it just uh, broke the rest of the way. But the um, quad, what well, I'm doing this video is just to say that this has been a fun quad. I've had it for a month. I built it out of parts. I used some uh, motors I had uh, laying around from a build that didn't quite work out good. That's the uh, RCX uh, 1105 motors by 5000 kV. I had uh, some 6 amp King Kong ESCs that I um, put on the arms. Uh, that's not the way of doing things anymore. The, the ESCs are almost always in the stack, which is a lot nicer, but if you have them, it's nice to use parts. Then I had a uh, Pico Black board, I think a um, flight control board I paid uh, $7 for. I put a buzzer on it and I used a all-in-one camera from a Whoop. So for um, not much more than probably uh, $70 worth of parts, I had a quadcopter that I uh, wasn't afraid to break because I built it myself and I could uh, fix it, I felt. Um, looks like I'm going to need a new frame. I don't think I'll use the same frame, although uh, I can see why it's popular. I think it was only $16, $17. It came with a ton of protective propellers and a ton of screws. Uh, so for the money it's a fairly good frame, but uh, I think I'm going to go with something with a two and a half inch or two and a half millimeter thickness. Uh, these are a little too thin for to hold the ESCs, but the tape will hold them on. So I'll just go through some of the flight video of this uh, just to document what a nice quad it was. First part of the flight video is line of sight. I just did a um, thrust test there. It went up pretty good. I'm only running 2S right now. Uh, and it moves good with the uh, 2.8 inch propellers or 2840 the King Kong branded propellers. Uh, so with those propellers it flies great even on 2S. Uh, 3S is a little bit faster or really quite a bit faster but either way it's a great flyer. I like this size of a quad. It's a uh, fairly lightweight, being only 90 grams, um, so it's not very intimidating when you're flying around the park and other people are present, uh, but yet it has enough uh, oomph with the almost three inch propellers uh, to make it fun and exciting to fly. Here I'm doing a few acro flips. It flips and handles real good with rolls. For the next portion of the flight, we're going to fly FPV. Um, I have a little track that I set up. It's 0.16 miles. I walked it with my GPS to get the mileage, and uh, then I could figure out how fast I'm going. Um, I'm going between 35 miles an hour to about 41 miles an hour on these laps. Um, does move pretty good. This is quite good for 2S. I think at 3S it probably will go 44, 45 miles an hour. Take it through the uh, gate all the time, but it's basically around the tree, between the two trees. Then I go uh, behind the backstop. Then I go over to the ball diamond. And then I set up a gate. It's nice to set the gates up closer to where you're standing, so if you hit one, it's easier to get going again to go back for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.